Yo, British GQ, uh, my name's Stormzy, and today I'm going undercover on the internet. And let me learn how to open a laptop first. Ed Sheeran taking back to London featuring Stormzy. Love this song, but where's the actual meaning behind it? Take, take, taking us back to London. Yeah, that's the meaning. <laughs> I don't know what they don't know what is take us back to London, isn't it? That's we wanna go home. The storms you have a cockney accent. Uh I don't know, do I? No, I ain't got I don't know, maybe. No, no, I don't. A bit. <laughs> I worked in quality assurance for two years at an oil refinery in Southampton, Hampshire. To be fair, I've always I've said it a lot, I've, I was just blagging it. It was an office job, but then as I progressed, they wanted me to go out onto site. So quality assurance, it's in the name in it, you're assuring quality. All the lads there were, they're brilliant at their job. They were welders and riggers. And I was just this kid who went through an apprenticeship and they put us on site, but these people have been doing this all their lives. And I was meant to go there and check their work. I just used to go there and Say, thumbs up, mate. I'm sure you're, sure you're fucking smashing it. To all the quality assurance engineers out there, I'm not worthy to be considered as one of you. Stormzy and Raymond Blank make pistachio souffle for British GQ. I wonder if Stormzy has been inspired to learn any other recipes after shooting this. No, I haven't. I'm an awful chef. But I thank God I have an amazing chef who goes by the name of Chef Fix. Chef Fix, big up yourself a thousand times. I've made dinner on a date once. I made some prawns. But to be fair, <laughs> Vic prepared them. I just, <laughs> I just done the final fry, the final. <laughs> it was a really, it was a really cute date as well. We was eating chocolate from each other's plate. Like, it was very romantic. So I've only done it once. Hopefully, I'll do it again at some point in life. How do I get in touch with Stormzy? You can't. And I'm not saying that sounded rude, like diverish. That's just, that, there's no way that don't sound rude. And whoever said this, I, I do love you and appreciate you. And if you ever see me, salute me, big up, we'll have a chat. But, um, nah, nah. And I have more reasons for that as well. You know what I mean? Stormzy fanboy and over Billie Eilish is the cutest thing I've seen in a while. I think anyone who knows me knows I'm a, I'm a massive fan of, of her and her art, and just her as a person as well. She's an amazing person. I met her at the Brit Awards. I was quite drunk. Anyone who knows me when I'm drunk, I'm a little bit much. And I approached her and just overloaded her with that. Like, you're, the, you're the greatest. Billy's got a special place in my heart. I love Billy. That's why you saw me fanboying. <laughs> I want a Stormzy album so bad. Well, you're gonna get one. The album that I thought I was gonna make and the album that I set out to make, I said, yeah, man's gonna make this album. <laughs> God just said, and you're going down there. And any artist will relate to this. Sometimes what we think and what ends up happening is two total different things. I was a lot more still and a lot more clear with what I'm feeling and what I was going through. It was like therapy. I just let out whatever was in me. So many cameos in this video must have been mad on set. Yeah, it was mad, yeah. Because everyone individual lent us their time and energy because, yeah, it was mad on set. When I was with Jose on the day, it was so sick because I was really nervous because it's, it's the special one, you know what I mean? And he's come down and he had to do something straight after. Of course, he's a busy man and he, I thought he might just be there for 10 minutes and say, yo, I got a dip. But he stood there and we, we would do a take and we'd do a take and he'll turn around to me and say, is, is that how you want it? And I'll be like, yeah, you're doing this. Are you sure? Like, how do you want me to? And I was like, no, nah, Jose, you're smashing. He's like, no, nah, like, we're not leaving here until it's right. And I was like, this is why you're a bad boy, like, we, are, we gotta make this the best. That's, that was his actual words, and I was like, yo, I hear you, my guy, let's do it. This is the byproduct of when we dare to be great and when we challenge each other and when we're committed to making great art. Even a lot of these scenes were, were a final pickup day where we saw the video and was like, no, we need more. Uh, Michaela Cole's poem in the middle that was written by Rich Free 2 which is one of my favorite parts of the video. Michaela was in Milan for Fashion Week and Callum, um, my engineer, big up Callum, big cow from the south side, had to fly to Milan the day before the video came out to record Michaela doing the spoken word and then send it to the director. So that was the final thing that had to get put on the video. 
which made us push it back an hour back and I was in Ghana phoning everyone like trying to keep calm like yo the video is not out and then it came out and to God be the glory. How is his skin so flawless? How? Big up my mum. Ghanaians, I feel like we got rich history of melanin and blackness, you know. And actually, you're gonna like this. This year I started a skincare routine. I've got a little routine that I'll be showing you at some point in the future, maybe. But yeah, mostly I would say it's 90% from my mum and from the rich soil of Accra. My name's Stormzy, thank you for watching. Uh, big up yourself, love, respect, you're done though. Cool. Close the laptop. Bye.